Hi, I'm Mike Scramstead of CDocs.com and welcome to the tip of the day. In this video we're going to talk about bridge design. Specifically here you can see I am doing a Maryland bridge replacing tooth number 10 with one wing on tooth number 9. Now when I get this initial proposal, oftentimes people get confused on where to start. Now whenever you're doing a bridge, whether that's a Maryland bridge or it could be just a conventional bridge, I would always recommend that you start design with the Pontic. So here you see the Pontic, it's just a little bit off. Now the great thing about starting your design with a Pontic is it's almost like setting a denture tooth. Meaning I can grab my position rotate scale tool and it's not attached to the baseline. So I can really move this wherever I want. I can position it, I can rotate it, I can scale it. And like I said, it's like setting a denture tooth. So you, can, you have full control without worrying about distorting the proposal. Now once you have that all done, now you can, when you're, when you're done, it'll recalculate to the baseline and we can go on and finish the design. So here really quickly you can see that the next step after I position this Pontic is I'm going to go ahead and form a connector using the circular two-directional shape. So I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, and we're going to try to form some sort of connector with this Maryland bridge. Now there's a little bit more work to do that maybe we'll cover at a different time, but the main thing in this video is always start your bridge design with the Pontic. It's the easiest way to get success with bridges. For more tips, please visit us at cdocs.com. Thank you.